Hey guys, Tanner Marine here with another video today talking about reenlistment, kind of what it's about. I don't have every detail because I didn't reenlist, but I know the general premise to it. And so essentially what it is, is when you hit about your three year mark, maybe a little more, you're going to start to get contacted by uh, basically a, a dude that's, his entire goal is to get people to reenlist and to facilitate that for people that do want to. And... Basically, you sit down with this dude, and you will talk about what you want to do. You know, do you want to s stay in your MOS? Is there a B billet that you want? Uh, you know, is there another MOS that you want to try to reenlist to? Whatever the case. And basically, if there's a B billet slot open, if you want to go be a drone instructor, and there's a spot available for it, then they can get your name into it. It's tough. It's very competitive for to reenlist at all. So you need to be the top of your game. You need to be very good at your job. You, know, you need to have no disciplinary uh, things against you. You need to just fucking be a good Marine, essentially. And from there, you will sign any paperwork. Pretty much, it's essentially like you're enlisting all over again. And that's really all it is. Like you did the first time, there'll be a bunch of paperwork. They'll make you fill out a bunch of shit. And you just do it all over again. But generally, you'll be able to pick your MOS. Like a buddy of mine, he re-enlisted from 0811, and he was stationed out in Hawaii, to be in an FO, a forward observer. And he ended up getting stationed in Camp Lejeune, but that's beside the point. But he re-enlisted because there were spots available. They were giving out like $90,000 enlistment bonuses, re-enlistment bonuses, whatever. And so he got the $90,000. And he re-enlisted actually in country. He was in Afghanistan. And so he got that $90,000 tax-free. So, you know, good for him. But that's what you'll do. And then on the day you re-enlist that you officially, you know, swear in again, basically, you they generally have a small ceremony um, where they get, you know, the Marines around and you'll put your hand up and you'll swear in just like you do at MEPS. And then, boom, you're in for another four years. Uh, chances are you're going to be doing a B billet during those four years, which is, you know, drill instructor, uh, recruiter, stuff like that. But... You can re-enlist to other MOSs if there is a need for those jobs. So just be aware of that. But it's a pretty simple process. I mean, outside the paperwork, which is annoying. But otherwise, it's pretty smooth. I mean, you'll re-enlistments happen every day. So it's, it's something they're very, very good at. So, all right, guys. If you have any more questions, concerns about this, hit me up. And I'll see you in the next one. Semper Fi.